Yo, what is going on guys, Z Karma here, and welcome back to another Boring Math video here in Borderlands 3. Today we're going to be taking a look at critical hit damage and the critical damage formula, so you know exactly how to calculate this critical damage, even though some of you might not even want to calculate it, you're just curious as to how it works, so that's what I'm going to be explaining today. Originally, this video was just going to be a review or an overview of anointments that give you critical hit bonuses. For example, this one or Zane's Barrier 70% crit. And when I was trying to figure out where some damage was coming from, I noticed a few things about this formula. So let's take a look at this weapon's damage. As you can see, we are doing 3246 and when we hit a headshot, we get 13k. And right now, I'm going to show you the formula that's going to get me from that initial damage all the way to that critical damage of 13k. So before I get into this whole explanation, if you guys find it informative or helpful in some way, a like rating is always appreciated. And if you want to subscribe for more Borderlands 3 content, that'll be awesome as well. So anyways, without further ado, let's just get straight into it. So the formula is as followed. You get your initial damage, or not your initial damage, but your non-crit damage. In this case, it was 3246. What you have to do first is multiply by 2. That is the normal default critical hit multiplier. So you just multiply by 2, and then you multiply by the weapon card crit bonuses. What I mean by that is right here on this weapon card, you see plus 10% critical hit. So then you multiply by that, so 1.1. And then there's one more multiplicative value that we have here, and those are special bonuses. So these special bonuses are actually bonuses that you have to figure out on your own, otherwise you wouldn't know them. So sniper rifles will get a 20% bonus, and Jacob's weapons will get a 10% bonus. Hey guys, Z Karma here with a little standby notice. When I finished recording, I did a little research just to confirm a few of the things I found out about critical damage while I was uh, working on these videos. And apparently, I missed something here. Shout out to Thick Filet. Apparently, Hyperion weapons also get a 5% critical hit. And obviously, this prompted me to testing other manufacturers and weapons, weapon types. And so far, this is all I could find. So, shout out to Thick Filet. 5% bonus on Hyperion weapons. So, just keep that in mind. I didn't mention this in my video or anything. I'll leave a link in the description to Thick Filet's channel, guys, if you want to check him out. He makes insane content, if you know what I mean. Anyways, enjoy the rest of the video. So these special bonuses are multiplicative. So even if you have a Jacobs sniper rifle, you still have to separate them when added to the formula. So you would multiply by 1.20 for the sniper rifle and then multiply by 1.10 for the Jacobs bonus. So essentially the formula so far would be your damage of 3246 times two times your weapon card crit bonuses times the sniper rifle bonuses times the Jacobs bonus, which is 10%. So all these bonuses that are on this formula so far have been multiplicative. So finally, we have the additive bonuses that are gonna be at the end of this formula. These include crit bonuses from class mods, skills, guardian ranks, and anointments. So they're all combined together. They are additive with each other. And you just multiply everything else in the formula by all these bonuses put together so anyways let's put this formula to the test we're going to take that 3246 that we did at the start with no critical hit then obviously multiply by two then we're going to get the weapon card crit which is times 1.1 because this Lauda has a 10 percent critical hit damage in its weapon card then since this is a sniper rifle and you multiply by 1.2 for that sniper rifle bonus and finally, you have to apply all the additive bonuses, which in this case, it's going to be a total of 52% extra bonus. This 52% comes from a 27% in Transcend and 25% in this anointment. So you multiply at the end by 1.52. The final outcome is 13,025 or 13K. So since this game likes to round everything up, that's going to be 13k just like we showed off at the start. And that's 10k, 13k. The reason why you saw 10k first is because this anointment takes like a second to kick in. So initially we were only getting the 27% from Transcend. 
And then after like a second or so, we got this 25% bonus as well. And for anyone wondering, a short time is around 12 seconds. As for other anointments involving critical hit damage, they work exactly the same. So for example, Zane's barrier 70% critical hit. You would add it with critical hit bonuses from class mods, guardian rank skills, and apply it to the formula as well. I've already tested this, so just letting you know. So yeah guys, that's basically all you need to know about this critical damage formula. I don't think there's anything else to mention. If you guys know of anything else that I missed or whatever the case may be, make sure to let me know and I'll make sure to put it in the pinned comment. And if you want me to take a look at specific skills, anointments, or whatever you want, just let me know down in the comments and I'll make sure to work on those videos. But anyways guys, I'm just going to end the video here. And if you found this video informative or helpful in some way, a like rating is always appreciated. And if you want to subscribe for more content like this, that'll be awesome as well. Hope you all had a good rest of your day and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.